What is up everybody? So there's a new article out about the Atlanta child murders, the case that involves Wayne Williams and it is from fox5atlanta.com and is linked in the description below. It states, City to unveil Eternal Flame Memorial honoring Atlanta child murders victims. Current and former Atlanta city leaders will gather at City Hall Tuesday to remember the lives lost in the series of Atlanta child murders. It's been over four decades since more than 25 children and teenagers were found dead in metro Atlanta in the span of two years. The crimes which captivated the country were known as the Atlanta child murders. The cases are still ongoing. This past Tuesday, past and present leaders, including Mayor Andre Dickens and former Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms will unveil a new tribute to the victims. The memorial titled Eternal Flame will be a 55 foot long wall with the name of each victim placed next to their own shelf where mourners can put tributes and mementos. The memorial comes a few years after the Atlanta Police Department reopened their investigations into the case after finding a private lab that specializes in analyzing deteriorated DNA. As with all murder cases, our investigators dedicate countless hours of time and energy to successfully solve cases and bring home sense of closure to the victim's relatives. Detectives have been directed to look into whether there are more victims beyond the time frame from 1979 to 1981. Family members of the victims say they still don't have closure more than 40 years after the murders. Wayne Williams is the main suspect in these murders. He continues to serve a life in prison for the 1982 killing of two adults. Late last year, members of Wayne Williams' Freedom Project called for the results of DNA testing to be released in hopes of proving his innocence. Atlanta police have not provided any recent updates on their investigation. It's interesting that they did all this testing, but have not released any of the results. Whether it proves Wayne Williams is guilty or innocent, they should show that they should be releasing the results of these tests. It's extremely interesting that they haven't uh, I'm assuming, this is just a guess, I'm assuming that they got it back and uh, just haven't done anything with it yet. The but it is going to be very interesting to see when and if they release the results of this DNA test that they did last year. Let me know what you think. There's a lot of people out there that think Wayne Williams is guilty of these crimes. There's a lot of people out there that think he's innocent. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.